Yeah. All right. Okay, so uh, look at that. That's kind of fun, right? A planet orbits the sun in a circular orbit. Uh, show that the, the period is this, right? Uh, remember, we did these last year, right? So you're just going to say that uh, what um, the force, the centripetal force equals the gravitational force, right? And the gravitational force is G mass of the sun, mass of the planet over R squared, right? The centripetal force would be mass of the object times 4 pi squared R over T squared, right? So set these guys equal, solve for T. Uh, notice that the mass of the um, of the planet is just cancels, right? Okay. Oh, and then R is, you know, big R and all this stuff, right? Okay. And remember that R squared times R is not, they don't cancel, right? It's R to the third. So this is just like we did last year. Hopefully you can get that, right? Um, then it says the Earth's orbit around the sun is almost circular with a radius of 1.5 times 10 to the 11th meters. Estimate the mass of the sun. Well, <laughs> the period is going to be, what, 365 and a quarter days, right? So since 365.25, but it's not quite a quarter, I don't know, right? 24 is a 24, right? Times uh, 24 hours a day times 3,600 seconds, right? Right, so then you got to figure out the period of the Earth's orbit, right? And then just use this equation. You know the period. We know the radius they're telling us is the radius. We know what G is, and you're just solving for that R, that M, okay? Um, yeah, I think you're good.